Hello, my beautiful vibe drivers. Welcome to your mystic affirmations for Thursday, February 22nd of 2024. Remember, this is a collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And there's a little reminder ticking along the bottom of the screen there. This Saturday on the 24th, we are having our live one question reading session again. And if you'll sign up in advance, you get $10 off. I've already set it up. You don't have to enter in any coupon codes. Just book your session. Now, if you wait till the day of, the price goes back up. So please do it in advance and you'll be able to save yourself a little bit of green. So here we go in the energy. Thank you for all the likes and subscribes. You know, I am very thankful and grateful and, and share these with your friends so that everyone can enjoy them as much as you do. And away we go with our relentless optimism, cranking up our positively positiveness using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to manifest and focus our intention to create our best possible life now. And the cards say, the struggle is over, the burden is lifted, the ten of rods is here, the breakthrough has happened. Then you've got the devil card. Now, even though you can be winning, you can be thinking you're losing if you're not paying attention. Sometimes we get a big victory. And then we go about self-sabotaging and, and telling ourselves what we could have done different or worrying about what other people think. This is that little back door that's allowing in those, those dominant old thinking patterns that are running really unchecked because it's a little recording that's just going off in the back and you don't even, you're kind of deaf to it because you've heard it your whole life. It's like the sound of, of a machine once you're grown up around it. I mean, the earth makes a sound and none of us can hear it because it's, it is our essence. It is what we are born into. So we are deaf to it. It's, it's the, um, Schumann resonance, right? So I even have a Schumann resonance generating machine and I cannot hear it because it's part of the sound of the earth itself. And we were born in the sound. So the sound is kind of in that neutral zone. This is part of that thing. When you're self-sabotaging, sometimes your little hidden thoughts are happening and you don't even realize what you're telling yourself. So let's, let's put our alert up and ask our higher self to draw that to our attention so that we can bar the door to that and not sabotage our own victory. Let's see what else we have. This is also the Capricorn Major Arcana, the Devil card. Ten of Rods is a breakthrough, a ten cycle change. So removing all obstacles. Thank you, angels, archangels. Divine, pure, white light. Ooh, the chariot. Beautiful energy coming through with flying colors. We love the energy of Elvira Knievel, as I affectionately call her. This is coming through without anything being able to hold you back. It's very fast victory, and it is victory. So overcoming all challenges, and you still have the energy of that. So when you can get rid of that, that voice in the head that's being destructive and negative, then you can really see what you're working with, right? All, all holes are off. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So we have our three cards out. What a great start we had with that beautiful energy. And it's true. I did the same thing even right after my event. I, I sunk into this like mindset that I had to pull myself out of, um, of that I maybe didn't do enough, right? But I did. And, and all the people giving me feedback were saying I did enough, but it was my own self self sabotage that was making me feel like maybe I didn't. So we have the Empress energy, which is the energy of victory. This is being in a place where all the abundance is aligned with the energy of the fertility and the energy of being in a place of well-being and of, of substance, right? Of, of some kind of, of higher 
uh, attunement there with that pineapple hat. That is the abundance energy. Then we have patience. This is where we have to remember. We, we're not going to go from one to zero or zero to one million in, in one leap. It's about being able to work through it. And patience doesn't mean sitting on your hands. It means allowing the universe time to help maneuver and manifest and allow yourself to do the things you can where you are right now. All the small little details that you have to get ironed out. I am patient, persistent, and disciplined in pursuing my goals, which means every day you get up and make some progress. Doesn't have, doesn't have to be all at once. Remember, we're just doing one step at a time. And the more that you can knock out right at the beginning puts you in the energy of being able to get your small victories and help increase your motivation. Now, you also want to pay attention to who you're talking to and who you're spending most of your time with. If it's the TV, that's probably not going to motivate you. I, I had to take a TV fast for myself. I am motivated and motivated people help me to improve my finances. It's true. People who are doing what you want to do will motivate you to do it because you'll see, oh, hey, they're taking these actions. Oh, I need to try that, right? It gets you, gets you inspired. Seeing other people achieve. That's why I like to watch people who are already doing what I want to do. And it gets me that fire within me that's kind of, you know, vibrating in that same frequency that I want to do. Now, forgiveness is a dream blocker. It's also a progress blocker because if you're in a place of unforgiveness, then you have to let yourself forgive yourself and all others because you can't move forward in success and have a grudge. If you do, it will still be there like a poison arrow waiting to get you, right? Because it'll wake up that thing in you that's negative. We want to release all negative thoughts and negative beliefs and, and grievances. Because those are little trap doors of negativity. So forgiveness is a really poor, important step into your ability to manifest what you can't see. Emergence. The frequency of emergence invites us to approach our reality with childlike attitudes of innocence and wonderment. And to watch and celebrate the beauty that unfolds from that place. So this is the energy of sitting down and going, isn't it amazing how the universe just works things out? If I just put my intention out there and let myself focus on the outcome I want, then it emerges from the quantum into the 3D realm. And then I can see it all unfolding. But when we're too busy trying to direct it, we don't see the progress because we're all we're doing is looking at the lack of progress. So please, please, please allow yourself to go to that happy place and let go of the need to control it. Very apropos, relax. <laughs> there is plenty of time to do and achieve all you desire. Place your hands gently on your heart and allow your breath to guide you to a quiet space within. Imagine yourself bathed in golden light, flowing from the heart, the eternal heart of God. I, your guardian angel, am with you. Allow me into your heart. You will accomplish more by focusing on that which is most important in life, love. Be in a place of just feeling the love wash over you through your heart, throughout your entire body. It is an amazing healing energy. Invitation. We, your guardian angels, ask you to invite us into your heart. Talk to us at any time. Share with us your fears and concerns, as well as your joys and pleasures. There is no need to be formal, for we have known you before the dawn of time. In fact, we know you better than you know yourself, and we love you just as you are. So, that is absolutely beautiful. Thank you, angels and archangels. We accept and receive your blessings, and you can intervene in my life at any time you choose for my highest good. Now we have, that was me just affirming. Here is the Princess of Wands, also known as the Page of Wands. So this is the notification of what action to take to proceed as you have all the fertility of this feminine energy of divine creation with that Empress.
So now you're getting instruction on how to move forward. And Eight of Wands, beautiful energy moving very fast. Love the energy of the Eight of Wands as it is beautifully laid here in an absolute wonderful position. That's the negotiation, communication, and fast-moving energy. And there's the Nine of Swords. So when we get into the position where things start moving, we do get into position of worrying about what might happen. Now, remember, we had that devil card at the beginning, that self-sabotage. This is part of that. Anytime we make a change, we're going to be in a place of, a, of some fear. That's going to happen. But don't let yourself get overwhelmed by it because every time you do anything big, it's going to show up. It's just there for you to be able to push past. It's, it's the boundary between you saying, okay, it's good enough what I have now. I don't want to try. And I'm too scared to step out of my comfort zone. Or pushing past and going, never mind that. I'm ready for something new. So you've got to be in this mindset or you can't push past it. This is, this is the invisible boundary. That it's really not a boundary. It just looks like one. It plays one on TV. It's not real. So you have to know that it's an illusion. Fear stands between you and everything you want in this lifetime. So keep it moving. Because you don't have to worry about it. Many blessings to you, my darlings. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste, my friends.